So I was wrong about the Cincinnati Bengals winning the Super Bowl and the Los Angeles Rams won it. Who cares? Whatever. Anyways, congratulations, Rams fans. Y'all won the Super Bowl, okay? Y'all won the Super Bowl. I'm not going to say fair and square because those were a bunch of phantom calls at the goal line, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. I wish Russell Wilson would have got bailed out at the one going up against the Patriots. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, but anyways, that's six, seven years ago. But congratulations, Rams fans, and shout out to Aaron Donald. Congratulations to him. Cooper Cup MVP. Congratulations. But Aaron Donald, listen, now's the time for you to be a man of your word, okay? You said you was going to retire if your team won the Super Bowl. Well, you got what y'all got what y'all wanted. Retire. Go ahead and retire, man. There's nothing, nothing else for you to prove. There's nothing left for you to prove. Seventh time all pro, seven years in a row. Um, five years in a row, overall 99 on Madden, okay? There's nothing left for you to do, and you're going to get a six. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to keep you on the game. Even if you retire, you'll be one of, like, the legends and stuff. You're going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. So go ahead and retire, okay? Go ahead and retire. Leave Russell Wilson alone. Leave Russell Wilson alone, Okay? retire go off into the sunset be an actor i can see you being in those fast and the furious movies with vin diesel in them i can see you being a marvel hero or a dc superhero you know hey you can be luke cage you know do that you're in hollywood do that all right go ahead and retire a a ron donald retire man retire you don't what, what more do you need to do in this to accomplish you know be going being back-to-back -back champions that's overrated, man. Don't You don't need that stress on your body. Spend time with your family. And when you decide you want to do something, you know, if you want to come back to the game of football, you know, just go play football in a movie, you know, like how The Rock did in the game plan, you know. Just just do that, you know. But you don't need to come back, all right? You don't. Um, Sean McVay doesn't need you back. No matter what he says, you know, he doesn't need you back, all right? The Rams fans don't need you back. And Seahawks fans show this head sure as hell do not need you back. All right. But if you come back, you know, listen, the Seahawks, we just going to have to just step our game up and we just going to have to handle it and win despite you playing. But congratulations, sir, Mr. Aaron Donald, Los Angeles Rams on a brilliant season. Y'all got a Super Bowl. Congratulations to the OBJ. Hope that whole team, Von Miller, um, Matthew Stafford, you know, congratulations to that whole organization. All right. But even though y'all won the Super Bowl, Sean McVay is still not the, the great, the best coach in the world. He's not. Okay. So I'm going I'm to tell you that right there. That's good that he's got a Super Bowl, but he is not the best coach in the world. So let's stop that. Miss me with that. Rams defense really stepped up. They stepped up. But anyways, that's all I got. Once again, thank y'all for tuning in. Student of the Game podcast. Peace out. Hit that like and subscribe button and comment and share your thoughts. Hey, whether if you're a Rams fan or a Bengals fan or you're a Seahawks fan or fan of wherever team, let me know what did you think about, the, about this Super Bowl and did you have the Rams winning if you're not a Rams fan. All right. Thank you all for tuning in. Peace out.